boys and girls, it's your boy, the Akmac, Akmac Cheese, today with Cooking with Akbork, a segment that I will only do once. I am making a not croc madame. This recipe was was gathered by Joshua o Weissman. And in this recipe, it in, it's basically just a grilled cheese with a whole bunch of extra stuff on it to make it look really fancy to be given the name Croc Madame. And um, I'll link his video in the channel because he's gonna actually do it correct and include ham, which I am too poor to afford right now. What you're going to need for my version of this recipe is... Skelet. But Some butter. A buttload of cheese. I have me some... Mozzarella provolone. Kobe Jack. And triple cheds. You need one egg. Bowl of milk, not sure how much milk, but you guys throw yourselves into combos all the time, so just throw yourselves with this milk measurement. Milk's about this, this wide. To get started, we need to put the bowl of milk in the microwave, which is why it's open. And you just want it hot, so, um, heat it up. Um, pump it up for two minutes, and give it a wait. Yes. Ooh, that's hot, that's hot. Leave this for later, because we're going to use it. This. Butter. Oh, I forgot. I had all-purpose flour over there. Look at it. It's in a big old canister labeled, so I never forget it. Are you proud of me? Gordon Ramza. Now we need to make our grilled cheese sauce. What kind of sauce are we talking about? Butter sauce, obviously. We're going to need... I, I didn't get a spoon. Fuck. You're gonna need a whisk, and you're gonna need to get a spoon. Don't forget about the spoon. Never fucking forget about the spoon. Turn on the stove, medium heat. Yeah. There, I have, I'm recording on a cardboard box right now, so if my phone suddenly catches on fire, you know why. You need, you need the butter, okay? You get a nice drop in there. Eh, fuck it. Uh, I don't know how much butter we need, but I have more milk than butter, so, uh... Surely adding more wouldn't hurt, right? We just want that butter melted, okay? Melt the butter. At the same time, wash your spoon, because you're going to use it again. And since I have too many dishes to wash, we're going to reuse this spoon, okay? Cool. Butter's melting nice and sizzly. Look at it burn! Okay, don't make, don't make, make sure your butter doesn't burn, because, yeah, don't do that. Now with your whisk, you're going to want to start taking, uh, well, not with your whisk, with your spoon. You're going to want to start, let me turn off. You want to start taking the flour and start, you're going to need at least uh, three tablespoons, I believe. So, uh, can you stop boiling so hard? Please, low, low fucking meat, bitch ass. You want to start taking some uh, flour and just... Get it out of my phone, please. Get it in the butter, okay? You want about... Stir constantly, because once the flour is in, you're going to want a taste of the flour out of the butter. So why the fuck did you put in the flour? You'll see, Nika. You'll see. Just, just get a little bit in there. Just come on. Keep it up. Keep it going. You're going to want about three, two or three of those. I, I can't measure, so put about uh, two or three of those in there. You see this? No, you can't, because the lights aren't fucking on. You see this? This majesty. Look at how beautiful it is. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. We need more. More flour. Back on the fire. More spindle, spindle. You need to get that flour taste out, so just keep on spinning. Look at how goopy and delicious it's looking right now. This is what you want. This is the kind of texture you will only get from Acme School of Cooking. 
Acme's cooking school. This is right. This is a cooking school now. You are my students, and I am your teacher. It is 4 o'clock, and my mom will be home soon, so let me finish this. Just keep her going. Keep her going. Keep spinning. I don't want to taste it right now, because I'm afraid for my... Fuck it. I still taste flour. I taste mostly butter, so... Here's where we start pouring in the milk, okay? Don't pour it in all at once. Don't don't be a jack of dough. Pour it in all at I'm spilling it all over the fucking place. Just pour it in little by little. Preferably from a bowl that isn't a retard and get shit all over the fucking place. Now that you have it in, you're gonna wanna stir it. Keep stirring. Keep doing it. You wanna keep doing it. It's gonna take a bit of time. See, it's starting to thicken up now. Let's get a bit more milk. We don't want it incredibly thick like this. We don't. We, we want to drop it down to like two or three C's. We don't need four C's of thick right now. So let's get more milk. Just a little bit more. You want it to be like the consistency of like gogurt, gogurt liquids. We want, yeah, we want it to be like gogurt liquids, not like um, toothpaste liquids. Look at the consistency now. This is prime go-go squeeze. Not a taste. Ow, my fingers. Oh, shit! That is good! All right, take it off the fire. Take it off the fire. You're done now. So is the milk. You can pour out the rest of the milk if you didn't use it all. Or, you know, I don't know, give it to your cat or something. Cats like milk, right? Sure. But you're done now with your sauce. Your, your prime sauce. Look at how delicious it is. Look at it good. Look at it good. It looks like vanilla icing right now, but it tastes like Jesus's foot. Next step, and easily the hardest of the, uh, the steps, is making your grilled cheese sandwich. Don't don't ask me why it's hard. It's just really fucking hard, man. I've never gotten it right until now, so learn from the master, okay? What the fuck? Heard a popping sound. Are you fucking kidding me? Some good bread, all right? So we got some bread, oatmeal bread, the bestest bread, other than you know butter bread. But I can't do this shit with one hand. But watch me do it with one hand, anyways. I want to lightly toast it because right now it's a. Uh, the bread is kind of floppy. Kind of floppy. So we want to just lightly toast it, just so it's not so incredibly floppy. No more than, motherfucker. No more than a few minutes. Not even a few minutes. Give it to like uh, 45 seconds at most. You want to get your broiler ready. Which means you're going to need a broil. Shit. Get yourself all this shit out of the fucking oven. It's really heavy. Carry it with one. Hand. You're gonna want a container, so take this one. It's gonna hold your grilled cheese when this is all done. You're gonna want to set your broiler at a. Um, the fuck do I set it to? Set it at a <clears throat> broil at a. Uh, it's just high or low. Uh, fuck it. While that's going, our cheese is ready. I mean, our oven is preheating, hopefully. Um, we're gonna need to get our bread. So, get yourself a plate. Get on your nice and firm and not as floppy bread. And we're gonna need some cheese. You don't wanna use all of it, and don't, please, for the love of fucking, please, for the love of God, look me in the eyes and tell me, do not put all the damn cheese on the damn sandwich. I know it's a grilled cheese sandwich, but the last thing you wanna do is go crazy with the cheese, because I guarantee you're gonna regret it every time. Learn from the master. He has suffered to make cream cheese. Grilled, grilled cheese for you. What are you gonna want with the cheese? You're gonna wanna put your most flavorful cheeses on the inside. Why? I don't fucking know. But get all the shit that's orange and put it in your sandwich. Yes, very nice. Nothing but the delicious grilled cheese. And it's I know I said put all the orange cheese in the middle, but we'll save the Colby Jack for last since we're running a little low on it. We're gonna put the mozzarella and provolone inside as well. 
just to give it a little bit of stretch, a little bit of melt, a little bit of good, good cheesy cheesiness. Mmm, mmm, looking good already. Mm, looking great already. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Watch me fuck it up the second I hit the stove. All right, wanna put it down like that? Give it a nice squeeze. Now, once that's all good and said and done and great, we need more butter. Where's my goddamn butter spoon? Did I throw it in the sink? I did. Great, perfect. Uh, more spoons then. You just want enough so to get a nice coating around the. Would you fucking turn on you? Oh, it's on. All right. Here comes the most dangerous part of grilled cheese making: grilling your cheese. Do not be scared. Do not be afraid. Take my hand. Follow me. I will lead you to victory and not burn your damn sandwich. You want something as wide as possible so your sandwich is absolutely no excuse but to flip properly the first time, okay? You want this butter boiling, you want it hot, you want it steamy, you want to make it so that once the bread hits it, it's gonna get a nice zinger. And I'm pretty sure I did this wrong already, but. Sandwich in, I'm already feeling nervous, but do not feel nervous, that's what the butter wants. It wants to unnerve you. A little bit more butter, cheese scraps in there or whatever, whatever you have left behind. You wanna let this sit for about two to three minutes. What's forming is that the butter is making plans to fuck you over. They're gonna need about four to five minutes to do so, which is why you wanna flip it at about the two to three minute mark. You don't want to give them enough time to realize what you're doing. You just wanna give it enough time for um, it to just barely make, put its plans into action. Very fucking carefully. Take your sandwich, okay? Take your sandwich, check. To see if it's uh, nice and golden underneath. Add it, mm, it is not, so uh, leave it on for a few more minutes. See, all right. Now the butter is uh, slightly caramelizing. I'm gonna say caramelizing instead of burning because that's not what we do around here. We're gonna take the sandwich, okay? Let's take it from this side, all right? Flip it. And holy shit, I did it right the first time. Holy fucking great. Um, once this is done, we're gonna be putting this in this bowl, bowl right here. Why? You'll see. Give it a look, give it a see. Oh, it's done. It's done. All right. Get that shit in here. While we're at it, you want some more butter because now is when the egg starts coming into play. It's gonna cook really fast because the, it's pretty hot. So uh, we're gonna need some more butter first and foremost. Oh yeah, oh yeah, boy. Let me turn on the fan so I don't get this all over the place. Uh, ow. All right, now the eggs is, um, now the butter's doing its thing. Time to get the egg in there. We're gonna want a uh, nice fried egg. What you're gonna notice is that the uh, egg and the sides are cooking nice and well, but the egg white on top surrounding the, ow! Stop popping, stop popping, stop popping, boy! Ow, oh, oof. Mm. You wanna, ah! You wanna take that butter. You wanna take, eggs are so fucking dangerous, man. Ah! Do you know eggs kill about 30 people a year just from popping on their flesh? So you wanna take that really hot butter and put it on the egg white that isn't cooking. All right, cool. You wanna cut it on the egg white that isn't cooking. Make sure that you get that hot butter over that egg white so um, it cooks nice and well and the egg yolk is lopsided. I don't give a shit. I don't wanna die today, boys. Today is not my day. Today is not my fucking day. Okay, get that butter. Just keep spooning it, keep spooning it, and in a short time your egg should be ready. It should look like a fucking monstrosity, but you know what? It's gonna be fucking delicious, man. Now with that done, and our grilled cheese nice and ready, we're gonna want to take our sauce, and this, this stove is hot. We wanna take our sauce, whisk it around just to make sure our consistency is still the same, and it is, because I'm the best chef in the world. I just wanted to say that, just so you know, that you're learning from the master. Just want to say it. We're gonna want to take our sauce and lightly pour it over our grilled cheese. 
Oh. You don't want too much, you just want it so it completely covers the sandwich, you know, just like the dude in the video say, maybe a little bit on the sides. Should have enough for just one. If not, you can probably just eat the rest of it later. Look how good this shit is. This is just milk and butter. Milk, butter, and flour, and it looks so good. Let us take a look at what we have here. Mm -hmm. Look at this delicious grilled cheese sandwich with our special sauce on top. But you know what goes on top of this? More cheese. This is what we have the extra cheese for. Just dump it all on the damn sandwich. Spread it out so it's nice and even. Nice and soft. And you know what? Let's get some more fucking cheese, man. Mmm, look at how good it looks. Mmm. All right. Once it's all nice and cheesy, take it. Stick it in the boiler. I don't know for how long, but the thing you want is you want the cheese to melt thoroughly and to brown. So let me get this baby open. Ooh, ooh yeah, that's hot. Nice and hot. Stick it in, stick it in real slowly. Woo, what the fuck was that? Okay, uh, stove made a sound. It was kind of creepy, but uh, I don't care. It's in, it's cooking, and now we just wait. Okay, it is about ready. So I am going to take it out the oven and we shall see our semi-finished product. I mean our semi-finished masterpiece. Check it out, check it out. Look at how good it looks. I'm gonna turn this fucking bomb off before it fucking explodes on me. And behold, the finishing product. We take our fried egg and right on top it goes. How do we finish off such a masterpiece? You ask? Some chives. Uh, actually, let me get this on a plate first. See, I, what do you want to finish this off? A little bit chives. Get some chives on there. Absolutely everything in the universe goes great with chives. Do not let anyone else tell you any differently. And finish it off with some cracked black pepper. Just a little bit. And you're done. You're done. You're done now. Nice and close, you can see the masterpiece. Got a nice, all that sauce dripping off. You got the egg on top. You got the grilled cheese in the center. Let's cut this shit open. And cross section. Mm. Look at it, look at all cheesy that is in the middle. Mm. Look at all that cheese right here. Nice and tender. Tender cheese, you're gonna get it all right there. And then when you burst open that yolk, mm, gonna have that all dripping down the side so you can't even contain itself. Let me put this back together. I'm gonna eat this for breakfast right fucking now. So, this, um, hold on. And this has been cooking with the act back. Join me never again, because I'm never doing this again. It was fun though. It was actually really fun, I'm not gonna lie. Join me in the next video where I do things loudly. Bye. This thing is really big, you know. You're gonna, you're gonna be eating it for a while. That's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Delicious though. Mmm.